To the 2024 legislative session, the Mississippi State Senate passed a bill this afternoon that would put the city of Jackson's water system under the authority of an appointed nine-member board. Yeah, a similar bill was introduced and died in the legislature last year. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake has more details on the legislation and where it goes from here. Richard, what can you tell us? Well, that's right, Byron. You know, today's conversation was very reminiscent of last year's conversation surrounding uh, just a very similar bill. Jackson lawmakers were saying that this is just a complete takeover of yet something else Jackson related, while the author of the bill says it's a much improved version compared to last year's. Senate Bill 2628, dubbed the Mississippi Capital Region Utility Act, passed by a vote of 35 to 14 in the Senate. The bill creates a nine-member utility board made up of appointments from the governor, lieutenant governor, Jackson City Council, and the mayor of Jackson. The bill mandates that faith leaders, local business leaders, healthcare facility workers, and Jackson residents who work in the city would be among those appointed, and the board would elect a president to operate the water system. Senator David Parker introduced a similar bill last legislative session that was met with criticism by Jackson lawmakers, alleging an attempted takeover of the water system. It's the city of Jackson today. It could very well be the city of Metcalf tomorrow. It could very well be the city of Gulfport tomorrow. If you're going to quantify this bill as being a takeover, you need to also quantify the federal government's role as being a takeover. This is about repairing a system going forward so that it can be better for the people for generations to come. Senator Parker said he worked with interim third-party water manager Ted Hennepin on the bill that passed the Senate Tuesday. Hennepin has even offered to work with lawmakers as the bill moves through the legislative process. Now, pending any motions in the Senate, this bill will make its way over to the House. Reporting live from the state capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.